Example three, expanding by combinations. Now this is that part where I said we're gonna throw out Pascal's triangle and we're gonna start using combinations. Now with this, I also changed how I write it because I kind of mentioned that earlier on I was gonna start doing that. So this is how I'm, I'm gonna start changing how I write this. So when it comes to our work from now on, I'm not gonna do it horizontally and do the coefficients and all that stuff. I'm gonna start doing things vertically. And at the end, I'm gonna start writing stuff horizontally at the very end. So with this, if it helps you to go ahead and do this individually, uh, do it vertically, do it vertically. Um, if you can do it horizontally, if you can figure out a way of doing it horizontally yourself and it makes more sense to you because that's the way we've been doing it, then do it that way. It's up to you. But this time, I'm going to do this combination-wise using vertical. Okay, so let's start off with this part. So we are expanding x plus 2 to the fourth power. Now, hopefully another thing that you notice that's different on this one than was with the other problems that we had was that the other problems just had x and y. This time we have x and a 2. So we're going to do everything exactly the same. The only thing that changes is at the very end when we have to do stuff with the 2. So everything's going to be about this. It's still the exact same when it comes to the first term and second term. So the first thing we're going to do, though, we're going to start off using combinations. To find, to sorry, find, find the coefficients. And that's what Pascal's triangle used to do. But the only thing, bad thing about Pascal's triangle is you have to do that triangle every time until you get down to the, the term that you need or the x the one that you need. So, if, for example, if they went to the 12th term or the 24th term or the 30th term or 36th term, you'd be sitting there for a long time trying to do all the work to try to get to 36 because the numbers are going to start getting huge. So combinations makes even that simpler. So that's why we throw out Pascal's triangle and we use combinations because it's so much simpler. So with that, Let's go ahead and start doing with our combinations. And here, we know for each one of these, we have our combination part. And I'm stopping there, but we're going to end up adding more. Now, the number that comes up here in front is going to be our highest exponent. So here, we know this is our highest exponent. That's going to come back into play in a few minutes. So this one is not only going to be for this, the, um, the terms, the exponents for terms, but also for this part up here. So we're going to put 4 for each one of these here. And for each one of them, we start off with 0 and we go all the way up. So it starts off with 4, 0, 4, 1, 4, 2, and we stop where we start, where we double the number. So 4, 3 here and 4, 4 here. And, be, and since the number doubled, we stopped. And let me write that down here. And that's what we were talking about right here. Those, dub, those numbers doubled. 4 and 4 doubled. All right, so always start with 0 and come down to, to whatever whenever they double each other. And so again, 4 came from the highest exponent. And let me write that, that arrow too. That's where the 4 comes from. Okay. So in our calculator, we already know how to do combinations in there. So we're going to do that really quickly. So I'm going to do a couple of them just to refresh your mind. So we're going to do 4, hit math, go to the left, number 3. 0, we do 1, we do 2. Okay. So here we get 1, we get 4, we get 6. And if you do these two in the calculator, you'll get 4 and 1 again. Okay. And so those are our coefficients, just like before. All right. Again, this is our first term. 
and we write that down again, just like we did last time with Pascal's triangle. And this part is the exact same way that we did the last time. We start off with the highest exponent, which is 4, and we go down until we get to, sorry, until we get down to 0. Okay, so not bad, not hard. We can do that again. All right, so then here for the next one, I'm going to put parentheses here because they number. Um, if it's not a number, you don't have to. You don't even have to do it if, right now, but I'm doing it because I like to separate the numbers. But here, I'm going to put a parenthesis for these for the second term. So the, we know this is our second term. So second term. And again, we start with 0, and we go all the way up to we get to the highest exponent. Okay, so so far, not bad. The only thing that's different is the coefficients. We're not doing the combinations part. And again, that's because the numbers are going to get bigger than 4 and 5 and 6 and 7, more than 10. So it's important that you know you can, you can do this part. All right, so the next things are we can get rid of anything to the zero power. So we can get rid of these, get rid of this part here. And before we actually can just say, okay, well, let's go ahead and find the answers or let's go write it out. We now, because we have a number right here, we have to work those out. And those are simple, easy to do. That's, that's not hard. Two to the one power is two. Two to squared is four. Two to the third power is eight. Two to the fourth power is 16. That's not hard. Okay, so for the first one, we'll keep like this. For this next one, I'm going to move this two in front so the numbers are together. Two to the fourth power is four. Two to the third power is eight. And then 2 to the 4th power is 16. Now some of you are like, oh my gosh, there's too much work. There's too much. I don't get it. I'm lost. Okay, just relax. All we did again was change the 2s to some power. We changed that to that number. So 2 to the 1st power, we changed to 2. 2 to the 2nd power, we changed to 4. So 2 to the 2nd power, we changed to 4. 2 to the 3rd power is 8. 2 to the 4th power is 16. That's all we did. And so the last thing is just going ahead and multiplying the numbers together. And so we get x to the fourth. We get 8x cubed, 24x squared, 32x, and 16. And the very last thing I'm going to go ahead and do is just write this out so that we're dealing with the addition, our addition signs. So here we're going to do x to the fourth plus 8x cubed plus 24x squared plus 32x plus 16. And that's our final answer there. That's all we have to do. And we are done.